So basically, yeah. just as a quick intro for everyone, then we've been having a really cool session. So Stockholm, um, through Stockholm Business um, Alliance, is basically a partner to Upstart this year. And we've been working for many years together as Upstart's been growing from a little Upsala baby, we've becoming more and more national and international. And so we've had an Indeed. entire track today, the Stockholm Business Alliance Showcase, and we've listened to a bunch of really cool startups uh, from the region. And so Eric here is head of investments, if I understood the title correctly. At, uh, yep. oh, it says right there on the slide, head of investments and establishments at Invest Stockholm. So you're going to be talking a bit about what the uh, sort of entire region, the Stockholm Business um, Alliance is, going to, is doing to attract yep. investors and uh, what are you doing to position yourself as a, as, a, as a flagship hub for startups? So I'll hand exactly. over to you, Eric, and thanks a lot for today and over to you. Thank you very much, Jason. Really appreciate it. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Eric Kruger. I'm, as, as Jason mentioned, I'm the head of investment and establishment in Stockholm. And we are basically a, uh, a public company owned by the city of Stockholm, but which is working within the umbrella of the Stockholm region with a partnership called uh, Stockholm Business Alliance with 52 municipalities uh, around Stockholm um, and basically if we look on the map uh, you can see our area from Jävlen, Sandviken in the north, uh, Kaskogen and Örebro west and Linköping and Norrköping and in, in the south and everything there in between of course. Um, and today I would like to talk about how we as a region are positioning ourselves as the impact capital uh, of the of the world. Uh, which is uh, not a small ambition, but at these times uh, with, with uh, COP26 and everything, we think it's very good to have strong ambitions. And of course, this is also supported by our mayor. Um, so to just to kick off, uh, we are, if you look on this map, you can see that we have, uh, comparing to ourselves to the rest of Europe, we are positioning ourselves very well in terms of global headquarters and regional headquarters. Uh, we are third in uh, in the Europe when it comes to having uh, large corporations and, and a global headquarters. Um, just to give you an, an, an insight into you know why do we we do we do this? Uh, why do we have this ambition with the impact region and impact capital? Um, and as you see on this slide, we are just third after London and Paris, which we pride ourselves with very much since these. Uh, regions and cities are, of course, some of the most well-known in, in Europe. Uh, but if we look at the number of companies which are uh, strengthening this position or which are basically ahead of, of or, you know, the, the foundation of, of the, these global headquarters, you see many names that you might recognize, such as the banks, uh, Handels Bank and SCB, but also uh, companies such as Spotify, and Mujang, which are uh, really interesting startups uh, originally from, from Stockholm. Um, so, uh, and also if we look at the at a glance of, of how we position ourselves on the global uh, agenda, we have a strong DNA with being visionary, free and trustworthy. Uh, we have been voted as the smartest city by the Smart City Expo World Congress in, in Barcelona. And we are a very innovative region. Uh, if we look at uh, certain scoreboards, uh, we'll look at this a bit later. Uh, and, but most importantly, we do have a thriving ecosystem uh, where we see we are the, basically the second in the world after Silicon Valley in terms of, of uh, unicorns being created per capita. And of course, we drive a lot of talent. And that's also something that we'll get back to here out today. Um, as mentioned, we are very strong in innovation uh, spectrum. We uh, do very well in terms of, of, of uh, looking at the, the various uh, indexes. I mean, just to, just to mention a few, if we look at EU regional uh, competitiveness index and Generation Z, Z index, we, we are second and third. Um, and as you can see here, we are, there are a number of indexes where we perform very well as well. So we have a good foundation to start off, off basically uh, and, and that's why we would like to, to really progress. Um, we did a report uh, a little while ago uh, looking at where the talents come from. And we can see in that report that about 80% of our talents come from outside of Sweden. Uh, most, and, uh, most specifically, it's India, Brazil, and Germany, uh, where the talents are moving from. And of course, a lot of these talents are within the tech area. 
Um, and and if we look at which the companies which are uh, employing these individuals, Klarna, Spotify, and King, which has been the the, the biggest three uh, in, during 2018 and, and January uh, 2020. So we see that these companies are bringing in a lot of talent, which we're very happy for. Um, we, we work within a number of sectors, and I have the privilege of working with eight very skilled product leaders uh, who are covering these sectors, uh, ranging from uh, advanced manufacturing, clean tech, fintech, gaming, ICT, life sciences, uh, to data centers, uh, hospitality, infrastructure, construction. And on that note, in terms of the data center part, we are very happy to, to have worked with Amazon Web Services and Microsoft, which are currently uh, in in Stolna or basically Microsoft are building the Amazon Beacon and and uh, Amazon Web Services already in place in Eskilstuna, Westeros and and Katina Holm. So uh, we're very happy to work with these, uh, of course, and and all these stakeholders are of course also supporting the the impact ec ecosystem that we're interested to to drive our ambition with. Uh, but uh, just want to mention that, as, as mentioned before, we, we have uh, a number of skilled product leaders uh, in-house. So if you are interested in any of these sectors, please reach out to me or, or the team and we'll look at uh, trying to assist you in the best way we can. Um, but let's go more to the core of the, the subject today. And that's, uh, as, 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 as the, the uh, yeah, basically we want to talk about impact investments and we see a driving momentum in the market where uh, impact investment is getting is, is growing and of course this is based on the need to shift towards uh, sustainable solutions and as you can see here on this slide um, basically the, the the idea of impact startups and and, and it's basically companies that have their business ideas in line with the the, the un's stgs um, and this is uh, something that we are really working with now to 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 cover and to to position ourselves as as one of the most uh, uh, one of the most competitive regions in the world in terms of impact investments. Um, when we look at the numbers, uh, the United Nations has estimated there's a need for three point nine trillion uh, to to up until twenty thirty to meet the SDGs, and we see that uh, philanthropy and government funding is not enough to to make this sum happen. So we see that there's a really a big need for the investors to come in and help us to to uh, uh, create this these opportunities within the the business ideas and the companies that we see um, but if we look at why impact investing for stockholm and of course uh, stockholm was one of the first cities to receive the european graphic green capital award by the commission in 2010 uh, and we are uh, the, the the city council which is the uh, the, the decision making body for for the city of stockholm has adopted a fossil-free municipality uh, uh, agenda and uh, to be reached by 2030, and, and not only stopping there, but also to be climate positive by 2040. And basically, we as a city are trying to achieve this through a number of actions, but also trying to, to compare ourselves with other cities and regions across the globe to see how can we benchmark ourselves with others, how can we improve, um, and, and this is something that we're, we're very happy to do and very proud to do. Um, and, and our mayor, uh, Anna Kjern Jagmil, has, has announced that she wants the, to, to Stockholm to be the center for impact investments in startups in Europe and, and globally. So this is really um, uh, an interesting, uh, uh, this is of course very, we're very proud of this statement. Uh, so, so uh, but if we look at uh, our beliefs and goals, we believe that we can, uh, Package Stockholm region as, as a very interesting uh, uh, place and region for for the uh, for the investors to come, um, and we see also today if we look at the da data, uh, Stockholm attracts ten percent of all VC investments uh, to impact startups in Europe, and this is uh, basically driven by that we have several uh, innovation hubs which are basically driving this this. Uh, uh, to, to the, the 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 capital to them by having interesting startups in this area, so that's why we see that basically we're trying to work with the innovation hubs and and together package the 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 offer that Stockholm has uh, in in this part, um, um, and we we don't only want to to be a very very <laughs> ambitious within the, the impact investing, but also would like to 
to uh, work towards having impact unicorns uh, to, because we, we have a, a history coming from being the, the, the unicorn factory with several of the larger companies, as I mentioned initially, to, to become unicorns outside, out of Stockholm. But now we're also aiming at becoming a, the, the impact unicorn factory. And that basically means uh, creating companies which can reach 1 billion people uh, as, as compared to the traditional sense of, of unicorns with companies being valued to $1 billion. Um, but if we look, as, as mentioned, we have several innovation hubs and we two of the biggest ones we, we have are Sting, Propel Capital and, and Nordquen, as you, as you probably are aware of. And Sting was recently elected to be one of the best uh, innovation hubs in the world. So very proud of that. So congratulations to Sting for that. Um, and of course, Norquian being created by one of the founders of Klarna, Niklas Aberbert. He has created a very strong uh, scene for that as well with, with uh, uh, several rounds, uh, 34 rounds altogether and latest founds uh, of 125 million. Um, so we see that you know these stakeholders are really driving uh, the, the investments within this part. Uh, also, we're very proud of one of the uh, unicorns or the unicorn that Norquin has was actually a, a North Vault, which are now expanding into to Westeros, uh, which is one of our uh, areas within Stockholm Business Lines. And we are very proud to also be to be helping uh, Norfolk initially with their business idea, uh, going back when they they initiated their their operation. So we we have uh, in 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 uh, a few weeks, we have worked with Peter Carlson uh, to to build his business case, which we are very proud of. Uh, but then of course, uh, Peter Carlson did something amazing, creating Norway and and, and or Florida, sorry, uh, creating uh, Northvolt. <laughs> That's something that we are very happy to see that he he did. Um, so, but if, if there's something you want to remember from this slide, please just remember the names of Sting and Norquian, because if you're interested to invest in, in the companies, uh, they are good, very nice stakeholder to, to co-invest in with as well. Um, and if we look at the stakeholders or the companies, which are basically uh, in, in Sting, you can see that they, they cover a, a range of areas uh, with, within the SDGs going from from one to thirteen, and there are a number of companies uh, within these uh, uh, within this, these ranges, which which are uh, doing uh, really good work for for the within the SDGs. So we definitely uh, encourage you to to look at this and and uh, and to get to get to know these companies that that are here, um, so so that you can uh, uh, get to, get to know to the ecosystem, and of course. Uh, myself and our team are also available to to do to help you to get to know these stakeholders as well. Um, so uh, and also what we want to just briefly mention is the, uh, the the Stockholm Impact Initiative we've done. We've basically uh, done a plan for how to work with impact investments. Uh, and first, as you can see, we did a, a home to impact founders, basically uh, discussing with the, the, the innovation hubs on how to, to work with this. Then we've done a local and in, in international outreach. And then we're doing now in the spring of 22, in, in divide, inviting uh, the investors to Stockholm and then um, proceeding with the, the ecosystem projects. So this is uh, something that we're very happy to, to share with you. And of course, uh, as mentioned before, please don't hesitate to contact us and to, to so we can discuss about the ecosystem and and, and uh, the opportunities which are here. Um, so with that, I think uh, that's the, the 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 slides I want to show you. And of course, if there are any questions, I would be happy to to answer them uh, here. Hey Eric, I'm just tuning uh, in here. Are you all yep. finished? Yep, I'm finished. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. And so, yeah, if you want to, you can head over to our little 2D platform. So in the yep. top there, there where it says uh, Alex City has got a post, upstart.com slash Q&A, you're welcome yep. to click that. And you there, like basically after the sessions, all of our attendees are popping over to this 2D environment in the browser. So okay. if it all goes to plan, like it's a bit of an experiment. But so far, there's quite a few interesting people in there. So if you hit that one, and if the attendees want to connect with you after, um, right. You just click it now, and then they'll join you in there. So okay. In the, so, in the so 
And and uh, sorry, which which button was it to click? Yeah, in the in the top of the chat there, you've got upstart.com slash Q and A. Do you see that link pinned to the top? You can uh, you have to click chat session. Uh, okay, chat. session chat. Okay, yeah. And at the top there, upstart.com slash Q and A. Okay. Okay. So if you click that one, it will load up. Just go through the steps and go through, and then you'll pop up in a in a virtual world with all the attendees. So you can uh, grab them into a little room, and then you can continue the dialogue for as long as you like. Okay. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much, Jason. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye.